everybody. This is Chef Sarah with Kitchen Pride Mushroom Farm and today we are going to have a meatless Monday meal and we're going to be doing spinach and mushroom enchiladas. So we're going to do a couple of things. This has a couple of different parts. We have the filling which we're going to be using our beautiful portobellos and some wonderful organic spinach and then we are going to be doing a secondary sauce that has our sour cream and some more mushrooms as well as a lot of uh, spices and goodies in it. Alright, so we're going to start by uh, cleaning our mushrooms, our beautiful portobello mushrooms from Kitchen Pride. And all we're going to do is take a cloth and just kind of wipe them clean. As you can see, they're already pretty pretty, so we don't need to do a whole lot. So, I'm going to pop these off. You can either save them and make stock with them for mushroom soup or vegetable soup, or you can um, throw them out, whichever works for you. I don't worry with the gill, so I don't think you should either. And then we're just going to slice them up. And remember when you're slicing these, to be careful. Keep your fingers tucked. And sometimes, because ours are so large, you're going to have to cut them in half. So we're going to cut these up, and then we're going to saute them together with the mushroom, with the garlic, the onions, and the spinach. And you want, this is going to be about a pound of mushrooms, which you can easily go ahead and buy already portioned out for you in the store. Or you can weigh them out in bulk if you say you're getting them from Central Market or Whole Foods. And I know this looks like it's a lot more than a pound of mushrooms, but really you have to remember how much mushrooms cook down. So don't, don't get here and think, oh my god, I've got too many mushrooms. You don't. Then we're going to put uh, one small onion chopped, two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now listen, you have a couple of different options. You can go ahead and mince your own everything, but if you have not found this product, the already minced garlic in your grocery store, then you are really missing out because this takes all the legwork out of it. So we are going to do this in an effort to save time. All right, so we've got our butter and we're going to go ahead and put it in our pan to let it melt. Mind you, I want you to take into consideration that when you're doing this, don't underestimate the size of pan you need. Even though these cook down a lot, they take a lot of space to cook. So you want to start off with a fairly large pan, which you can see what I have. Okay, now you can see our butter is nice and melted. We're going to go ahead and add our onions to saute them. The most beautiful smell and sound in the world. It's even better when you add the mushrooms. Give those a little swirl. Go ahead and add your mushrooms. If you can't see it from there, I will show it to you. This is why you want a big pan. You don't want to overcrowd your pan because then whatever you're sauteing won't cook evenly and you'll just get aggravated and have to start all over again. All right, everybody's starting to soften up. So we're going to go ahead and add our garlic, two tablespoons. And by tablespoons, I mean heaping. But that's entirely up to you. If you don't like garlic as much as I do, you might want to actually do a true tablespoon. All right. So we're going to continue to saute that. Mmm. Heavenly. Heavenly. Now we're going to add the spinach. Let that cook down just a little bit. You guys want to take a look over here and see if everything's cooked down. There's still a little bit of moisture in the pan, and we're going to wait for that to stop. It's usually about seven to eight minutes that you want to cook it before that starts to truly evaporate. And now we're going to add in for just a little bit more protein some black beans. And I like to do it two ways. I like to do half pureed and half whole. And if you guys, this is kind of a secret, kind of like the garlic. If y'all do not own an immersion blender, you must. So I put half the beans in this and then I just give it a couple of zaps and I've got my beans and a mess. We're just going to stand it upside down for now. We're going to go ahead and add these beans in. You know the wonderful thing about this recipe? I know that we all love enchiladas but we don't like the calories that go with them. 
This actually has half the calories and fat and cholesterol of a regular enchilada recipe, which is absolutely fabulous because you know our wonderful mushroom is giving us that same meaty flavor and texture with no cholesterol, fat, or calories. So we like that. And then I'm going to hit it with some top, just regular taco seasoning. Um, you could add or adjust this with whichever way you like. I know everybody has their own particular way of making enchiladas, but this honestly is a very good one, so I'm just going to give it several shakes until I start to smell it in the pan. All right, so you guys can see that the liquid is gone. Everybody's nice and mixed together and cooked through, softened. It's looking a lot more like an enchilada mixture now than um, separate ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our flame and put it, set it aside to cool a little bit until we can work with it and roll our enchiladas. Okay, on to the good stuff now. Now, where I'm hesitant with salt, this still needs a little bit, so maybe just to taste, uh, and for my taste buds, it's a little bit more than a pinch. It doesn't have to have it, so if you were on a salt-restricted diet, you could absolutely leave it out at this point, but it's, for me, it's just a preference. Okay, so. You see, I've got these cheeses set aside for our sauce with an additional three-quarter cups of a blend of Monterey Jack and Pepper Jack that I'm going to mix in. Mix this up. Now, in the meantime, while you guys have been watching, I have been microwaving my tortillas for about 15-20 seconds to make them just a little bit soft so it's easier to roll them. I just like to wrap them in a towel on a plate and put them in the microwave. All right. Cheesy, mushroomy, spinachy goodness. Alright, here we go. Alright, so making sure your hands are clean, and mine are, you're going to take a 9 by 13 pan, ungreased, and you're going to take a spoonful. I like to just stack mine up like this, it's easier. You can just go. I'm using the large tortillas and I'm going to roll it just like that and I'm going to put it steam side down. Otherwise you're going to end up with casserole and not enchiladas. All right. So again, just kind of evenly from top to bottom with a little bit of room at the end so it doesn't go seeping out. Roll it up, snug as a bug, seam down. All right. Now we've got all of our enchiladas done and rolled and waiting. We're going to go ahead and start on our sauce. And in here I've got um, a cup of sour cream that I've mixed with a quarter cup of lime juice, but you could also use a quarter cup of wine, dependent. And I'm going to put this on a medium to medium low heat. I'm putting my sour cream and the lime juice. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we're going to do a three quarter cup of chicken stock, a cup of chopped cilantro, I'm also going to add three quarter cup of shredded pepper jack cheese and three quarter cup of regular Monterey Jack. I also reserved half of our mushroom mixture that I'm going to add in. could smell this you would know it smelled absolutely delicious. And I know what I'm having for lunch. As you can see our sauce is nice and thickened up. So we're going to go ahead and we've turned off the heat. We're going to take our beautiful mushroom enchiladas, not to discount the spinach and the black beans, and we are going to pour this on top. you guys, but I'm hungry. And I've set my oven on 375. And I have decided to make an executive decision since these are half calories. We're going to add just a little bit more cheese on top. That is not in the recipe, 
that will have to come from your heart. Okay. So we're going to pop those in the oven for about 15 minutes. Remember that this is boiling hot cheese, so be careful. There we have it. Another wonderful meatless Monday night with spinach and mushroom enchiladas. Hope you guys enjoy.